It's that girl Shay Adams coming to you again with the self love series. Um, I hadn't done a video in a while because it just wasn't nothing, you know, in my spirit that I didn't have any downloads that I felt like God wanted me to share. But he was dropping some downloads in my spirit earlier today about toxic relationships, and I just want to just kind of talk about toxic relationships. You know, toxic relationships has a lot to do with self-love. You know, how we see ourselves. How we see ourselves determines what we allow into our life and what choices we make and what decisions we make, what career we make, uh, what, what partner we make. I mean, what partner we choose in our life, what kind of food we eat, how we see ourselves shows up in our choices and when it comes to toxic relationships a lot of times we have to look at ourselves we have to look at ourselves because when you're loving yourself when you've been nourishing yourself and when you've been nurturing yourself and when you've been taking care of yourself when you've been praying and you've been spending time with God and you've been learning a new skill and just trying to get get better in every area of your life if someone shows up, you're not going to allow them into your energy. If they have any kind of toxic traits, if they show any signs of not loving you the way you love yourself. And when you see those toxic traits, you have the ability to cut it off at the root or you let them know, hey, I'm working on me. I'm working on my peace. I have a peaceful life. I have a peaceful mind. And I just don't allow that negativity in my life, you know. If that's how you are, that's how you want to be, you know. I just got to cut my ties with it because I'm, I'm going somewhere right now. And I can't, I can't afford to have any negativity in my life right now. See, when you love yourself, you have the ability to say that. And you have the confidence to say that because you know your worth and you know that. You're not losing anything. You're not losing anything. You're, you're, lo you're letting go of those things that don't serve you when you love yourself. But when you don't love yourself, it's kind of like you, your, your thoughts are, you, you, you accept bottom of the barrel things because that's how you see yourself, you know. God gave me the scenario of, let's say you have the money to go get a new car, but you, you got the money, but because of how you see yourself and what you expect and what you think you can get, instead of going to a, a new car lot to go get a car, you go to the junkyard. You go to the junkyard and you looking at different cars at the junkyard and you see a car all light on, check engine light on, tail lights out. And you say, yeah, 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 let, let me get that one right there. You know, it looked good on the outside. But all the lights on, check engine light on, can barely make it out, out the junkyard. And you're like, yeah, yeah, let me get that right there. And the thing about it is, you want that because... Your check engine light on, your all light on, your mental headlight is out of you. You can't see clearly. You can't see. You can't see healthy. You see unhealthy. You you accept unhealthy. You look for unhealthy because that's all you know. But I'm here to tell you that God has given you the tools. You have what it takes to have the best in life. You have um, the tools to change your life. You just have to learn how to use them. You have to recognize that yeah, I do have low self-worth. I do have low self-esteem. I don't think I'm beautiful. I don't think I can have a good relationship. I believe our women are, dog are, are, are no good. I believe our men are dogs. And you know what? I, I, I want to heal. See, you got to heal got to heal and you have to have the awareness that hurt people hurt people because the thing about it when you have the awareness your mentality will be you know what I'm kind of wounded right now I 
need to heal. And if I get in a relationship right now, I'm going to mess up this other person. I'm not going to be able to give them what they need as a partner because of my wounds. You know, I got a fear of rejection. So I'm, I'm not even open. I'm not, I don't even know how to be vulnerable. So if I get with somebody, my fear of rejection is going to show up as me rejecting them. And not giving them all of me because I'm scared that they gonna walk away from me. I'm scared they gonna abandon me. So I'm scared to open up because I don't want to experience the pain of abandonment and, and rejection that I felt growing up when mama left me, when daddy left me, when grandma died, when when such and such. The pain of that I don't want to feel that no more. So guess what? I'm unhealed. And that's how I'm showing up in life. I'm closed off. And until I can heal, I don't need to be in a relationship. That's what enlightenment and self-awareness, that's how people that have that think. But when, you, when you're unaware, when you're, you're um, what's the, what's the word? when you're blinded, all you can think about is self. What can I do to feel better? And it'll hurt others. At the expense of you feeling good, at the expense of you having your way, at the, at the expense of you having the control, and not scared to let go of control. So you showing up is trying to control your man, trying to control your woman, because that way you know that you won't get hurt, but you already hurt. So I want you to know that. It's time to heal. I want you to learn the tools to heal. Spend time with God. Get into His Word. Join some kind of group if you need to join or get a prayer partner or a mentor. Somebody to hold you accountable. Somebody to help you. Somebody to pray with you. Somebody to encourage you. Somebody to motivate you. And toxicity and toxic people are a hindrance to you becoming better. It's a hindrance and you got to remove it from your life. You got to set them boundaries if you really, really, really want better. If you want to show up better, if you want to be positive, if you want to see yourself the way God sees us and the way he made us. shift in the mind the Bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind you might have accepted Christ a long time ago but an unrenewed mind is going to have an unrenewed stale life you got to renew your mind you got to train your mind on what God says about you you gotta train your spirit. You gotta feed your faith. You gotta feed your faith. Toxic people in toxic situations is not feeding your faith. It's feeding your lust. It's feeding your insecurities. It's feeding your your vulnerabilities. You need healthy people in your life. You need positive people in your life. I didn't say perfect. Nobody's perfect. But you keep striving. The words I press toward the mark of the high pride, the high. I press toward the mark of the high. I can't even think of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Calling of God or in Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark of. I get it later, but you know what I'm talking about. I press every day. I'm pressing. I'm, I'm pressing toward the mark. Every day, I'm trying to move forward and be positive and be who God called me to be. A woman, a man of purpose, a successful person prosperous person a person that is mentally and emotionally whole and balanced and happy not walking around with your head down and your heart down and your mind down and your thoughts down depressed anxious every day you want peace and it starts with you and it starts with who and what you allow into your energy into your space starts there so really this video was just a message of 
just to just to make you think to try to help you have the awareness of how you show up in life and what you allow in your life who you allow in your life why you allow them in your life think about who's in your life and why are they there what are they doing for you and what are you doing for them is it mutual are you overgiving to try to earn love like what's going on and let's heal all on this journey together. I'm still healing. I'm, I'm further along in my journey than I was two years ago. But it ain't over. I got a lot of my work to do, but it ain't over. I'm open to love. I'm open to, to happiness. I'm open to new opportunities. I'm open. I'm challenging myself. I'm pushing myself to be better every day. The fact that I'm doing this video is me just stepping out there and, and, and trying something different and saying, here I am, Lord, use me. Here I am. So, anyway, I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. I love you. Be encouraged. Like I always say, 